Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for We Make Dance Music. Today is an amazing day because we get to open one of my favorite score. We get to have a look how it's been recreated. You know, I basically took uh, like the main part of the interstellar score, recreated it completely with a little bit of an ending. It's like the main theme in, inter in interstellar. If you know scoring, you know that they always use a main theme. Sometimes there's some keys, sometimes it's a uh, chord progression. In this particular case, it's some keys. They've been very difficult to reproduce. You know, I use um, like a organ type of thing, but I had to put a lot of EQ, had to mix a lot to really get that, that, that chunky feeling of the original. I've seen a piece about Hans explaining, you know, how he made this and it, it was a whole lot of work to literally record that big sound and well, somehow in Logic, I've been able to do something very similar. I'm not saying it is the same, but it is uh, along the same line. I think the feel of the score has been uh, has been really reproduced. We have all the elements laid there in Logic, and we're gonna dive into it. And I'm gonna let you guys know the process and what is happening there. If uh, you don't mind, uh, I will uh, I will add you to some caffeine. Oh yeah, this is stuff. All right, so. It's, it's fairly basic, it's only 15 tracks, it's 100% MIDI, I've done it at nine, in 96k again, if you watch a couple of my videos, you know I work mainly 96k now because of the depth, you know, of the audio, so it's only two minutes long, I uh, start with the piano, and, and I think what was important in the piano is the velocity of the key is very low, this is very, like a, like a gentle touch, you know, of, of piano, can you hear it right away? It is super gentle, you know, it's like a way, it's a close to you, it's, it's, it's like, it has that, that smooth feeling. Then of course, the other piano parts, a bit of the low here. Processing wise, I'm gonna go through it a little bit, but there's this just not, not a whole lot. I have uh, two different reverb, I think that there's one of a big room reverb, let's have a look at this one. Space designer here. Okay, this is a long drill, so 10 second reverb. So there's a very, really, really big room reverb here. And then the second reverb that I put is silver verb, which I personally like a whole lot. And you can see the room size is not to the max, but it's fairly high, really high density. Again, it's it's another, it's my, my preset of ground. So it's two big room together to really make it spacey, you know, to give it like some 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 really dreamy kind of, of state thing, you know. So that that is beautiful. Again, on the sub pianos here, I use the same. I use uh, people think that contact library are good. I think it's good, but Apple recently they updated their strings. You have string sections and stuff. Uh, I would say raw, without processing, they're a bit boring, but then when you put a room around it, when you put a reverb, when you know you really work it out with the EQs and try to duplicate the channel, they sound very good. So this is all logic, you know, there's no contact bang, there's no nothing, straight up logic. Uh, it's available on wimmingdancemusic.com, WMDM.io, if you're like short things, this is a shortener that we have. If you watch this video till the end, you might get a deal. So let's continue on to this part that I was talking about right here with this this clavi this Oh this is beautiful So this this was really honestly for this little sequence of a minute and a half a whole lot of work without the generating I put an hour an hour and a half into refining this listening to the original trying to really get the feel so we can listen to it now it's definitely what make this track special is this this it makes of course with the strings down here some orchestral strings rising here then you have another really deep organ which is very important for the body of the track I mean without it you can hear it here still mellow but then and you have another part see here you have the lower part and then you have this organ who is also 
in the mid lows around around 200 which really give some richness to to the track you know which is very important then you have a really nice soft progression this is super emotional then a high organ here more pan to the right and the other element to there's more pan to the left the other element to the right create like a nice sterile field And we're gonna have a drop. I mean, it's not literally an EDM drop, but this is still a drop, let's say. Some strings here. Nice. There's the organ here rising. With some piano, some, some keys here. Really fast keys. Then we're really, really bringing up the emotion. Let's say you're at the end of a sequence and then something really, I think they're in space at this point and then this is really strong, you know, so you bring all of the energy you can bring and then you drop completely. So that's it guys, that is my recreation of uh, Hans Zimmer Interstellar. It's on WeMakeDanceMusic.com, it's available as a template, no plugins used and if you watch the video until now, you're amazing. You should smash this like button or do something, really. Or you can go to the site and use my name, Mikas, M-I-K-A-S, and get half price on anything in the store you like for one time only. But you still get half price, so you go on mikasmusic.com, fill your cart with amazing scores. We have a bunch of really good scores. I reproduce some legendary scores, uh, Hans Zimmer, the Joker team and stuff. We have some cool stuff. And then... You smash the like button and then you go to We Make Dance Music and then you pick up some templates, enter the gold Mikas, get half price off, and then until next time, may the songs be with you guys.